We are, I think. Yeah. So, well, welcome back, everyone. Um, uh, the story so far, uh, I've done three sittings with Dexter live via FaceTime in honour of this um, uh, isolation that we're all having to find imaginative ways of getting around. Um, the uh, last time, some of you may remember, we had some technical hitches uh, in that uh, Mr Fletcher didn't set his alarm on time. So uh, hoping that won't happen now, we're going to call him in a second. Um, the keen-eyed amongst you may spot that I've done a bit of work to it, which I did today. I spent just over an hour doing some, um, uh, just kind of like padding it out a bit, correcting a couple of things that were wrong with four, like the dual line, although I think I'm still, still not quite right. And I've done a little bit more. Basically, um, uh, I didn't stream it, but I did record it. So uh, those of you who want to see every step of the process, um, I'll be putting that um, hopefully online later tonight or tomorrow morning so you can see the whole um, progression. And, and I also did a time lapse for those of you uh, with a concentration span a bit more like my own. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the idea is we're going to try and get this finished today, but I don't know. You never know these things. Sometimes they don't go according to plan. Okay. Oh, that's great. Everyone can see my passcode. Um, let's try it. I don't use it for my bank before you ask. Hello. Hello. He's, he's there. That's a good start. Okay, cool. Um, now I'm not here. I'm not in. I'm not home. I'm not here. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's uh, just just keeping an eye on the sound levels and stuff. Yes, can people hear Dexter all right from where they are? Uh, well, I suppose someone will tell us if they can't hear us. Um, so anyway, let's let's do it. He's on. Right, we got the clapper. Um, so yes, and we got the real thing. I was um. <laughs> Perfect. Of course, what we didn't think of when we decided to go for a slightly later starting time to suit everyone is the light's going to be changing a bit. Is that on this one? It's a yeah. I thought we'd adjusted to the daylight saving hours or whatever it's called. Daylight um, hours, summertime Yeah, hours. exactly. So we haven't changed it that much, actually. I so for the first one. the light here yeah. at the yeah. same temperature it was before. Yeah, I, cool. My, I didn't shave today, Johnny. Just... To, present you with an extra challenge a bit more rough and ready uh yeah that's fine i think um can you make me slightly more out of focus yeah exactly <laughs> it's getting more and more out of focus as it is um we should um uh, <laughs> that's better actually that's quite helpful um the uh we might have to turn the, the, the other light down a bit as we go along maybe even a bit now just because as the daylight goes that'll get comparatively brighter let's see how we get on shall we that's as low as it goes johnny that okay. It's at its minimum um, cool. luminescence. Fine. Let's let's let us let us let us see how we get on. I mean, you know, this is all a bit different from how I normally work. Nearly lock my wine over. Stop that would making be a disaster. excuses, John. Stop making excuses. <laughs> well, it might actually be better Thank because I'm thinking like this. Yeah, you know, necessity is the mother of invention, as um, I think I'm one of us said before. Um, that's not really. Can I take that glass? Why is this all in my mouth? Uh, I need I need the glass. I need the glass. This is yo. Uh, I just need something to stick under the table, that's all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to rescue my wine glass. Um, well, me... priorities, John. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, we've got to get comfortable, haven't we? That's, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's no good trying to do these things if they're not. Um, There's a finger on the top of your lens. There's something obscuring. Oh, yeah, Coming it's my um, it's my iPad holder, which came uh, from uh, Amazon. And uh, it may not be there. It's a good job I'm not painting you, not that I could, because the lighting. Terrible. <laughs> I have my, my jar of coloured pencils here. Maybe I could try. Yeah, you got to go. That'd be good. And, you know, once again, um, I've been sent some nice pictures, actually, that other people have done. Have uh, so I will find a way of sharing those with everyone. Um, Does the winner get a prize? Is there some sort of adjudication? Does what, between you and me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think um, if uh, if you do a better one than me, I'll smash the the um the, the the phone and the uh, iPad I think too. if I do the a tantrum bit. yeah if I... and that's not what you meant you meant out of the, the 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 viewers yeah um uh yeah I think we can think of some sort of little prize for the winner I mean, obviously the the glory of being able to show their work to the world um but um I'm sure I can get together with 
Mr. Keith Isolation Art School Tyson and um, think of some uh, interesting things to... Uh, now, what's he been up to? I've not seen the Isolation Art School. Is, it, is this an offshoot of the Isolation Art School or is it part of it? Uh, it we're doing it in kind of collaboration. I mean, I think um, this is... I'm not being quite as informative as some of the people who are doing it on Isolation Art School. I'm trying to you know, throw some things in along the way. I think what I might do is do a separate like Q&A maybe the end of this or another day, just to I think a lot of people have do have specific things they're trying to, um, mm -hmm. try, try to talk about. And also I did some work on this earlier today, which I filmed. And what I was thinking Perfect. I might just like add a bit of commentary to that, explaining some of the things I do, because, um, you know, that whole thing of walking and chewing gum at the same time, um, you know, it's, it's uh, trying to you know, do, do, be thinking cleverly about explaining how I do it, but I don't usually um, to yes. explain things in a way that people understand. Yeah, and question. there's some questions. A TED talk. Have you done a TED talk? Uh, I haven't actually. There's someone asked me to. Um, the um, uh, I think um, uh, I'm not sure I'm interesting enough for a TED talk, and certainly not brainy enough. Um, <laughs> you get some very brainy people on that. They do have very brainy brainy people. Mm -hmm. They do. Mm -hmm. I would definitely not qualify. I'm sure you could actually qualify, John, if we, if we got you onto the right subject. But that's the thing, it's like if someone asks you the right leading question, yeah. you can become quite erudite and, and well informed. It's yeah. just. Exactly, you know, exactly. Like so, right question. Something where it's been rehearsed. Yeah, I, I, I get the impression, though, some of those TED Talk guys aren't just talking, making it up as they go along. I think some of them may have rehearsed it a bit in advance, but um, I, uh, I don't want to slander anyone here. Um, <laughs> Well, why stop now? I mean, <laughs> ordinarily, if this is a conversation between just me and you, the, the neighbour would be falling thick and fast and the slander would flow like a river of whatever. Yeah. Anyway, a torrent of filth. A torrent of filth. Enough of my nonsense. Uh, no, you like your nonsense. Uh, uh, I've run out of nonsense. I'm all nonsense now. Oh, there's no more nonsense in the tank. <laughs> I've missed you, John. I the other you. night we played cards online and John came and sat there for 10 minutes and then left and just left his empty chair. Didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a bit frustrated that um, they, 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 the sort of fraud checky people or whatever didn't seem to believe who I was or whatever it was. And I, you know, I was shut out. I was, it was like being stuck outside the nightclub and the bouncer. You were going, my mates are in there. Um, and I could still, I could still, I was still on the um, the the Zoom call, so I could still join into the the banter. I just couldn't join in the game. Um, but we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll make it work another time. Right? I'm sure we will. I'm sure there'll be another opportunity. Yeah. It, it was a rip roaring success by all accounts. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think, um, yeah, I, 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 I keep, keep seemed a little worse for wear the next day, but it, and it also given, I think, all his winnings away to the NHS. Um, so well, that's, he's, he is a good man when it comes to that yeah. sort of thing. He, he is yes. very he's generous. A he is. He's a lovely, lovely soul. But but a, but a, a reckless card player at the best of times. <laughs> Unlike the rest of us. Unlike the rest of us, all very good. How's Sheba? Mrs. Yeah, Present is is doing all right. Is she there? Oh God, I thought she wouldn't be there. Yeah, no, <laughs> we may have done. Oh, where would Sorry. I be, Dexter? What, what's that? Where would I be? Well, I can't imagine. I'm out. Oh, no, you can't be out, can you? You can't be out. That's it. Oh, well, hang on. So Dahlia is coming in. Johnny, the best question, how is Dexter's hair today? Uh, Beautiful. Exactly. It's good today, actually. We like it. I, was, I did a, I did a few swirls earlier in the style that you had it the other day, but maybe it's better today. Maybe we should base it on this one. I mean, certainly... It's looking a little bit higher than it was the other day. Have you have yeah, you yeah, have you adjusted washed, it? He you, washed Johnny. Oh really? It's, it's that time of year, is it? Especially for you, yes. Yeah. Normally, I you just... said you will uh, paint the hair, so we got ready. I'm, not... Normally, I, I just I'm only jealous because I might my hair just before I, just before I get painted. But today I washed it. I know. Rather than using my hair as a mop. <laughs> uh, is it not too dark for you? Uh, it is a bit dark. But um, uh, it's okay. No, don't worry. I mean, I think the, the trouble is we want the light coming from the window. Um, uh, maybe you need to get your f laptop out after all and turn the screen on because I think that, it, it maybe a bit, it's a bit now, it's a bit too it? strong on that side. That's all. Too hot now, Dahlia. Um, how about oh, that, that, Johnny? Ah, oh, that could work actually. Yeah. A bit too hot. Uh, it's more the position of it. Is it possible to bring it round a bit more in front of you slightly? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, back a little bit. Back a fraction. Now, do you know what's too low? I think it's because they it, it changed all the shadows. 
Don't worry, we'll, we'll work on this as long as we can. Yeah, doesn't it? I should have thought. Uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I can prop it up. Okay. Yeah, hold it. I'll just hold it. Put a time. Don't, no, no, don't, don't hold it. I mean, why don't you wait till it, wait till it gets really bad? I'm resting it against the cactus. How's that? <laughs> wait till it gets really bad if you want, because I think at the moment it's okay. That's um, what you said about my rash. <laughs> How, how is there? Nothing's fallen off, is it? Nothing's falling off now. I can bring this plant. No, don't bring the, don't bring the plant. This is your plant, fault, I mean, too, but I don't know why. Plants are often the solution to things. How is it my fault? Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just blaming you. All right. It's your fault. Yeah. Carly's getting involved. Get in line. Yeah, I can't say things like that around here. I don't no, get what? food for a few days. <laughs> I get, I, I, Oh, you're being able to ransom for over food, are you? That's very good. That's, that's very good. How's that, John? Look at this. Yeah, I'm actually look at my computer. Am I still facing the right way? It's more yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's great, actually. That's great. That's good. That gives us some a few extra things to work on. I'm sorry for everyone at home who was basing it entirely on the lighting from before, but yeah, these things happen, and maybe we can preserve some elements of how it was. Um, it's good. I, like I, these I, I went running today, John. Why? A big attempt because I'm expanding rapidly. Did you steal something? Light that I'm leading, sitting yeah. inside. All the time, I, I, I thought I'll go for a run. I was terrible at it. Yeah. It's dangerous to do it our age, isn't it? I used to be. I used to be really good at it. <laughs> I'm yeah. awful at it now. I have to practice. Do you, do you need an incentive of some kind? Is that? Um... Vanity is a good one. Uh, it, it, it's a very good. I, I, I'll just sit and watch myself being painted day in, day out. I, mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. So I ate a big bacon sandwich and then I went for a run. <laughs> <laughs> two bacon sandwiches, two runs. <laughs> two, exactly. That works. Is that how it works? We like to like saying Hail Marys or you know, generally, um, did, did the kind of your, do you exponentially increase the. Um, uh, amount of exercise. Yeah, the, the trade-off. Uh, the va yeah, the kind of quantity of trade-off. I suppose so. I'm not. I'm not very good on the old. I I, I get incredibly bored mm. doing all that sort of running around stuff. But there you go. How's it looking, John? How do you how are you feeling about? It? Uh, it's looking okay. You're looking a tiny bit concerned in it, and so we need to do something about that. Unless you are concerned, but I'm concerned, Jim. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's mm. probably that's quite. I mean, you know, you're probably concerned now. I've said that, uh, so that's really a bad, so. bad thing to say. It's bad, bad psychology. No, I think concern will make me look pensive, and pensive will make me look like I'm thoughtful, and thoughtful mm. will make me look like I've actually got a functioning brain, and, and you know that is only that's an avenue I do want to go down. Okay. Well, having, well, having a functioning brain or, or yes, looking yeah, like you looking 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 like, want to look like we do. Yeah, exactly. You look like I'm thinking. I don't is, want to is it my me, mouth, is it my me mouth. or, I mean, I don't know if you've been doing a lot of these sort of um, FaceTime and Zoom calls, but an awful lot of people seem to do it in front of a sort of well-stocked library um, or at least sort of <laughs> wallpaper that looks like books. And I think um, that's, that's it's not always the people you associate with um, very sort of literary um, backgrounds and personalities. That's, that's the trick I've been... I, was, it, was there a memo somewhere that we had to do it. that? Or... Do it in front of books. Yeah. Oh, just casually here in part of my enormous reference library. I read most of them myself, don't you know? <laughs> These are all the books I bought, but not read. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Oh. Oh, so it's, it's, uh, it's looking all right. It's, uh, one thing I've learned is that... <laughs> We're directing is that if, if the actors have their mouth open, it's never a good look. <laughs> if you have your mouth open when you're not talking, it's not, it's not a good look, is it, Shima? Come on, you know about acting. Is that, is that just because it's bad for continuity, or is it just general? Is it it's a bad look, isn't it? It's, it's just a bad look. It's like, yeah, you know, if you haven't remembered to shut your mouth, what else? <laughs> what, where else Jesus. are you falling down in life? Exactly. So I'm really hoping, John, that my mouth is not open in this picture. No, and do you know what? I mean, generally. Uh, it's best not to do too much of an expression with a mouth because um, there's a thing I spotted a long time ago, which is you can't paint teeth in in, in portraits. Teeth don't work. Um, and um, I mean, partly, obviously, I think in the past it would have required someone to hold the pose, hold the mouth open. I think Leonardo famously did a, did a few studies of people in extreme poses, but there are very few examples of a history where someone's managed to pull off a 
painting of someone, let alone teeth. grinning, but even showing their teeth at all. But it's something we do, it doesn't look right, and it's very hard to get the... It works right in photos, but um, for some reason it doesn't work in paintings. I think it's also that sense that you know, be, the paintings work best when it's, it's, you've got a sense that someone might actually have been sitting for a while in that position, even if there's a... You know, obviously, you want to add a bit of animation and a few different expressions and a bit of you know, interest, but if it's a, a kind of frozen pose then it just doesn't feel natural. You know, we get uncomfortable it's, looking at it. But it is a reaction to something that becomes, wears off very quickly. A smile is a sort of involuntary kind yeah, of... Yeah, exactly. Only a, a, only a fake smile stays around for any length of time. Um, it's well, a good yeah, point. By its very definition, is a contradiction of what you're trying to achieve. If it's fake, yeah. Yeah. Then, then that sort of... I don't know. Yeah. You don't really want that, do you? No, now you're looking concerned. I mean, any, I mean, any expression. I mean, if I were to do this the whole way through. Yeah, actually, it's not far off I've got you. Um, <laughs> 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 any expressions really can make it a bit boring quite quick. Yes. <laughs> the blanker the canvas in terms of expression, the better, maybe. Um. Uh, you might have pressed it. Yeah, I did. She's oh, did. On it. And these are all going. That's good. And then may I'm have to have a pause in the middle. I've found that some of my devices um, have an automatic shut off after 20 minutes or half an hour. So um, uh, I need to kind of monitor Lovely. a bit. I think um, the next Can one of these I do, I might not do it live because um, uh, it's just the extra kind of faff of doing it. And um, I think it's so many more people seem to be watching it um, afterwards now. I think originally it was all live and there's still a lot of people watch it live, but I think um, a load more watching it on through various platforms afterwards. And so, yeah, anyway, yada yada. It's like no, amateur no, broadcasting. I get, I, I get it, but I mean, there's a certain amount of focus that you've got to be able to give it that just <laughs> yeah. sitting here talking amongst ourselves doesn't allow. You know, it's fine over a space of four hours. You kind of eventually kind of run out of nonsense to say. Well, that, you can on with the, the job in hand because you actually are doing something. We're not just hanging out and chatting. Yeah, well, I think that, I think that's the thing. It's, it's also that idea of sort of hitting the mark and it's like having I mean, to start at a particular time and finish on the hour and that kind of thing. I suppose we could probably keep it going. Someone will tell us how we can keep it going for longer. But I think it is that thing. You just don't know exactly how long it's going to take to do what they're trying to do. Um, and you get you start getting you know, you get on a roll with it and you want to keep it going. Um, mm. uh, and it's. Um, it's one of those things, and then kind of you know, um, you you can't tell when it's going to happen. You can't tell when you're going to have a good day. I find um, uh, it's. Well, you know, so don't you want to be talking through to the people who are watching in order to sort of learn something about yeah the, the craft of portraiture, you know? Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to try and do oh, a bit bit of that sort of separately. <laughs> anyway, well, let's see. We're going, to, we're going to play around with the format a little bit. Um, but keep it just in general doing this, the, the same fundamental things, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a nice challenge. Yeah, the restrictions of doing it this way. Obviously, it helps that I'm used to seeing people in the flesh because I can fill in a few of the gaps that you of things you don't see. It's not, you know, it's not as bad as I thought. The, um, you don't get quite as much detail, obviously, and you lose a bit of the kind of dynamic range, uh, you know, sort of like mid-tones and stuff. But... And then, but it's mostly just about how faces work three dimensionally. So I can fall back on what I know in some areas. What's nice about it is it, is you're moving, and actually, um, that is you know from that point of view, it is closer to the real experience of doing a sitting with someone, and closer than just working from a from a photo. Right, um, sure, sure. People are saying they like it live, um, and they like they feel like they're in the same room with you when it's live. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I think we'll kind of try and preserve as many as you know, sort of like maybe the maybe it's a case of doing it partly live. Yeah. Um, uh, I think we can hopefully keep you know the best of both worlds somehow. Um, oh, I've got the bandana. Do you want me to put my silly bandana on? Uh, does that does that make a difference? I thought there was something missing actually. Um, hold on, we're coming in. <laughs> okay. I think you should. Yeah, like, I, sake, I, yeah I started. Otherwise. I started sort of sketching it in, so it'd be quite nice. Uh -huh. to see it. Now, yeah. um, if you want to paint it in, I mean, there's an argument to say that you could make it simple. Yeah, I mean, you, you wear those things quite a quite, 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 in recent years, they've become a bit more of a fixture. Right, as well. Have. Yeah, a trademark. Yes. Yeah, have, have you been showered with offers of um, uh, no, produce as a result of giving it such a hefty no, plug the other day? 
apparently there's a way of making them into um, soup. In, uh, masks. Soup, Mark, yes, yeah. there's a way of making them into soup. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can make them into, you know, these kind of uh, masks that you get for your face. With a couple of hairbands and not that I've got, but one of these things, you know, these things that uh, we're yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that, to... That's all sort of Dahlia's underwear. Yes. Yeah. One, one that's very nice. Of, uh, yeah, that's marvellous, actually. Uh, uh, no, that's friend, my friend Yuzuka's made those for me. Uh, yeah, but you, apparently you can make these. Yeah. Proper... So yeah, then they actually work. Hmm. Well, to a, uh, uh, to a fashion. Better than not wearing one. You're sneezing or breathing all over other people, which is probably mm. the most yeah. responsible thing you can do. Yeah. So you went out for a run. Yes. Yes. Uh, other than that, how's that, has life changed at all in the last week or so? Has it? Um... <laughs> uh, I've just been doing location scouting job. I mean, I always thought it was a kind of <laughs> a little bit of an excuse to go places. Um, how have you managed to do that from your sitting room? Do tell. Well, there's this wonderful... Oh, the next movie is going to be entirely shot in Clerkenwell. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Modernist well, utopia. Exactly. Not goes anywhere. My my bathroom plays a very major part. A lot of the film <laughs> yeah. happens in the toilet of my apartment, and in my walk-in wardrobe is, mm. features very heavily mm-hmm. as the uh, subterranean base of a oh. ne'er do well <laughs> philanthropist <laughs> bent oh. on world domination. Phil who? <laughs> what? <laughs> Phil who? Yeah, exactly. That's his name, Phil Philanthropist. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, we've been doing it on 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 uh, online. Mm-hmm. You know, all the, it's very unusual because in this part of the process where I'm at, we would be, in theory, you know, travelling around trying to find locations. Yeah. We're, but we're we're all doing it on on this on Zoom and. Uh, well, it's interesting. I, mean, I, I talked to you about it before, but, um, and I think you glazed over pretty fast at the time. But um, I've been working a bit for another kind of art related sort of techie project about you know um, we're trying to build a little kind of. 3d vr sort of thing but it's going to be a huge thing kind of um you know traveling without going places um and uh the sort of quality of these things is getting better so fast um there's also a lot of tech as well where there's these screens i can't i can't remember what it's called for the life of me now uh volumes led volumes they're called do you know what an led volume is where they can create the environment. It's kind of like a green screen uh, yeah. scenario where, where you have people in the in the studio, but but they are extremely well rendered uh, backgrounds and scenery of places that don't even exist. But yeah. you can have the actor there, and they're surrounded by these. So the actors see it as well. I think you did mention that to me. So they, they actually see it because that's the difference. Because you can obviously kind of put these yeah, things okay, in afterwards. Yeah, and as the camera moves, the, the background moves accordingly as well, so the perspective stays correct. Yeah. Um, and it moves around around the actor and with them, and they're, they're shooting all this amazing yeah. stuff. It's, you, in theory, you can shoot Star Wars or whatever it is, and not not even have to leave the one studio as long as you've got these LED volumes and. I've yet to see them actually. I've seen them work online, and I kind of get the get the idea. Yeah, uh, but I've not well, the, seen them. The technology is kind of, I mean, it's quite similar to what you do when you're building, you know, um, things in for v- virtual reality. Because obviously, you're effectively having to change the camera position that you're rendering to these yes. people's eyes when they move their heads, you know, slightly, uh, and it's going to be really precise. Otherwise, you know, if it's at all out of sync, then you feel ill. Um, and uh, it's amazing. Um, uh, it's, an, yeah, it's an extraordinary area. I guess for that sort of thing, it's just about how you did you, pro- you project it at the same time as it's going on. Yes, it, well, I know it's, 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 it's on screen. Stuff. I mean, I think it's just played onto the screen as, yeah. as, rather than projected because of projected, you know, you, you, it means that then that that's cloth. Yeah. And then it, <sighs> I think. But but these are like, I don't know, like big screens, I think, yeah. that surround the actors. That, um, and create these these new worlds and other environments, but you you can do a a pre visualization of what you want to shoot. You can you can build a rough uh, yeah. digital computer version of your set, and then you can get a digital camera and move around inside it. Yeah, uh, and you know decide what kind of shots you want to get and what how it might look and yeah, the previs. There's yeah, it sort of jumps on the technology. So quick for an old analog dude like me, it's uh, 
it, yeah. it's kind of worrying and I nod a lot yeah. and smile in, 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 in <laughs> pretending I'm, I'm grasping it but at the same time somewhere in the back of my head in, I'm screaming this is just absolutely amazing and I have no idea how they're achieving it Yeah. but nevertheless it seems to be something I can use yeah, or exactly. a lot of people around me are getting excited about yeah but yeah you, there, there is certainly I think the Star Wars stuff there, there's tend to do more stuff that like that that is uh, more fantastic yeah. fantasy yeah I've, I've it's going to become a thing that we can all use I think in a few years I'm sure you probably know more about it well I did a bit cause I, I did this thing about three years ago I um, did got a involved with the 3D scanning, that kind of thing. Um, I did, it's amazing 3D scan down when I was over in LA. Um, for people who do, who actually do, oh, sorry, do things for, um, uh, I think the Star Wars films and other things like that. Um, ILM. And, um, yeah, they do this, this, this scanning work for, I think, for, for, for ILM. And we, it was basically, it was, um, it was very interesting. And um, what I found fascinating was, of course, you know, once you got this sort of version of subject, in that case, me, but I've since tried to experiment with other people, you can light it. it as if it's a real thing so you can have like i'm telling you about it like that you just move one like that and then and that's obviously one of the things that i find most um interesting you know, you know is that the amount of control you've got over things and that you can sort of you know relight things and change them after the event after the capture so you know, when you're taking photos you have to think of all these things at once and somehow get this person in front of you engaged enough to you know look like you want them to look Whereas, you know, if you can do all the sort of tech stuff afterwards, you can just do like, you know, wear your jester hat and twat around until you get the bit you like, basically. Like that. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't, you know, sort of developed for you know, no, the, the billions of, of billions of dollars by it. NASA for that purpose. But it's, you know, nice benefit for those of us in our business. Sorry. Yeah, we no, I didn't say in terms of it sounds like what you're saying is that I could walk in, you could take the snap without even really looking at me and I could just get lost and then you could do everything that you want to do afterwards. Well, yeah, um, effectively, that's the case. And I think the, 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 th and the other thing is you can change the position. Effectively, you've been looking at something. You can change the camera angle as well as the lighting, um, which is what's really, you know, makes your head spin a bit. Um, not much interaction, though, is there? Not much dialogue about what you're no. doing or, or what you're trying to achieve. It's like, no, exactly. I, mean, really... so, I think that's the thing. It's a bit like I was saying about, you know, the, the virtual reality. It was not going to replace people actually travelling to see people when they really want to do it or going on holiday. But if it's, you know, people kind of going halfway around the world to have a meeting or to scout a location, you know, you might, you know, and, and for, for a day and come back, then I think that sort of thing may be less and less necessary. And that's going to be good for the environment and our mental health and other things. I suppose good for the environment, certainly, yeah. I mean, there is, I mean, there, there, I, I'm definitely, I suppose I brought it up because I'm definitely feeling that yeah. there's a part of the process that, as the filmmaker, you know, you go to these locations, which is one of the very early parts of the, the building blocks of, of what you do, so that you can sort of get a sense of of, uh, of the environment that you're going to be in and what, yeah. how people are going to respond and react. Yeah, of course. And look at it and what time of day it is and where the light is and how you feel about it. What, you've got to make these decisions and choices and, and you might well discover something that yeah that is born of that environment and that or you find something that completely you never expected yeah. and it, it's, it starts to become very much part of the working creative process that yes that a, a picture just doesn't that's one side of it and i guess for that when you're still developing the movie in your case that is important it's a bit like when i go and see someone you know for doing this sort of thing um on the other hand if, if you're doing something basically to make a 2d representation of whether it's a you know painting or a movie or just a photograph i wonder if there's a way in which you know where you're not distracted by everything else that's going on there and you're just looking at how it looks and therefore which is close to how it'll be seen afterwards there is actually some benefits in that too but maybe you need to do both yes yeah i suppose that's the thing about the previous isn't it i was talking about earlier you know this rudimentary kind of uh computer version of it that you you kind of can make some of those choices about composition mm -hmm. but again you know for me the composition is getting there with the camera and then looking and then moving it around a bit or a lot or you know deciding where it where it's going to move and how it's going to move in relation to what yeah is going on and I don't know, I mean, is that, I suppose what I'm talking about is that connection with it, but that's what I say, it's like, mm. it's a more analogue approach to it, it's still, 
And was that the case? I mean, so you must have been like things like Rocket Man, where you're doing it, and it's based on you know real events in real places. Um, that must have been quite useful to actually go to the places where those things happened, because although obviously you know it, it, it'd be I, time to change, but the, the actual environments must, must in some cases be quite similar to how they were. No, no, no. We, I, no I, I don't know if we ever did go to any places that I could I could name you that actually where things took. I mean, we went to the streets in Pina where he was born. The opening is shot in Pina, but it's not actually uh, the house or the street that he lived in, just the area. Right. Um, Royal Albert Hall we shot in, which I'm sure he's played on numerous occasions, but it, it was empty when we went there. Right. So that, that, that's the first time I came and watched you filming was when you were doing oh, that scene on the phone outside. That's right, that's right, that's right, yeah. Um, uh, no, no, I mean, when he, when he spoke to his mother on the phone about you know what happens in that particular scene about his sexuality. Uh, you know, he was at home on his own. Right. He, he was meant to have gone to a concert apparently, but but he had this. You know, he wanted to talk to his mum about this very important thing. And but anyway, but but no, we didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't go chasing around the actual real places or anything like that. You know, when you when you're doing a biography, you you have to accept the fact very quickly that. So I see. So, so you're saying that it's when you're not, so when it's not based, actually, when you're actually trying to imagine things, that's when it's useful to go somewhere. Yes. For inspiration. Yeah, yeah. You you go. I I know I need a rooftop restaurant in London, hmm. and then you start going and looking at, you know, rooftop restaurants in London, and and find something that is cinematic as well as delivering. A, a backdrop that the audience will know quite quickly that they're in London, but at the same time looks right for what it is that you need at that particular moment. You know, what is this rooftop? Is it a, is it a you know run down old piece of junk that from the eighties, or is it as very ultra modern twenties twenty twenties really cool mm. rooftop that's you know where they're all going out and drinking martinis and being wonderful. Um, Hmm. Yeah, it's, and, and then and then once you find what that environment is, you can then start thinking about how those people interact and what needs to happen within that environment. You know, it all, but so just looking at a picture and going, I don't know, I, I you'd have to block it out on a piece of paper, which for me sounds awful. I like to block it out with the actors on in the location or on the set, so yeah. there's a certain amount of immediacy and. Uh, relation to the environment but that's just me Johnny well you did you enjoy the film because I mean, obviously I mean, as a uh, you know, when you were you were an actor you talk about some films being more enjoyable than others when you're directing surely you've, yes. got, you've got so much to think about uh, you can't just you know think well I've only I'm, you know I've only got I'm only in a couple of scenes today I can ask around the rest of the time and a bit of fun is there any? Is there other other points where you can actually sort of relax a bit? Um, not that you would have ever actually said literally no, those words. I'm paraphrasing it's, 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 by general it's, conversation it's, with actors over the years I've heard elsewhere. It's an amazing, precise narrative <laughs> summation of of what it is to be an actor. Well, I can just ask around. I've only got two scenes today. I just sit here with my feet up. Oh, you're <laughs> doing. Do play Scrabble. Oh, time to go. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. You. You. Do, no. As a director, you don't have. A, you never have a minute. Never have a second. You really don't. It's you really don't, and then your feet hurt a lot. But at the end of the day, you're always up and running about. Yeah, cool. It's good though. It's it, it's great. It's very addictive. It, you know, it, it's uh, because you know, as an actor, you do. You know, you, what's required of you is something very different. You know, yeah. you're front and centre as an actor, and you need a different kind of energy and a different process. But mm. as a, as the director, you're you're and trying to get you want to be at their best. And it's there's more of I guess a more of an arc of it as well because the whole the, the actual shoot which is obviously the bit that I can and uh, th those bits were kind of quite intense but then the the, the, the uh, stage you're in now you've got what sort of quite a few months of you know kind of build up to that to that sort of thing where I guess it's a bit like seasons isn't it you know actually to have the different stages of something gives 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 shape to it in a way um, uh, I'm guessing. Um, but I certainly, yeah, I, yeah. I don't mind being intensely busy when I'm you know, usually in a panic because I'm doing an exhibition and I haven't done enough paintings and I can crank it up for a couple of months, but I can't sort of sustain that sort of level of, of worry all the time. At the same time, you have to be able to kind of refocus on other things, which is often easier when you've been doing something different. 
Yeah, no, there's always a certain amount of cramming you have to do <clears throat> just before. I mean, the idea is to try and get it all done before, but when you, like me, you work on instinct, you kind of need to be in the moment to be able to go, why don't we do this? Mm. And how much do you, do you, how much is, in the, in, the, in the sort of final movie that you do, how much is then, <clears throat> presumably 90, most 99% of it is, I imagine is, you know, is what you've planned. I mean, do you, do, how much is, can you improvise and change things, uh, you know, when you're there? Well, as much as you want, I suppose, in theory, but I mean, it's just that, yeah, you, you could do, but I mean, you've got to be open to, to any ideas that come out of a particular moment or conversation on the day. Um, but it's a bit of a flight. That's really flying by the seat of your pants, you know. Mm. Um, and I'd be yet to get to a position where there's just so much money where would be like, well, I don't know, let's make it up as we go along today. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure some studio exec would come over and yeah. beat you over the head with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To your lifeless body shouting, God! <laughs> Or uh, <laughs> no, uh, you, you can do. I mean, look, I, I do like to, yeah, give the actors a certain amount of leeway, but it does. It changes. It's like the portrait, isn't it? It changes. I mean, you, you are following the template. You are following mm. the outline, but then there's what you use the artist bring to it. And you know, that's the remarkable thing about actors is that you think you've got the words down on the page, and you. You know, you kind of got a rough outline, an idea of what's going to happen. And they always come on the day and do something amazing because they want to bring their creativity to it, which is what they do. And they always do it. You know, even if they're playing the lead part or just a day, mm. they always come and do something that makes you go, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Just encourage that. Who knows, John? Still creative wonderfulness. Is it is it different? I mean, I don't know if you've done many times you did it, but is it different? I wonder working as an actor for a director who used to be an actor. Uh, I'm trying to think if I what I'm trying to think what director I've worked for that used to be an actor. Because there are a few. There are a few. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've ever worked for one. Well, that's what I mean. I was wondering. I mean, it, I guess it's not. It's not that common is it i mean obviously you're following in the illustrious heels of olivier and um uh sort of um orson and affleck and gibson and <laughs> franner oh yes <laughs> um but uh i'm sure there'll be some someone who's a movie buff who's watching you can Rod <laughs> really i'm sure he, he i'm sure he had a crack at it Oh, don't go near Who? Uh, she was. I think Mrs. Joe was making some tasters joke about TV aerials, which obviously oh. we're not going to repeat. What was the joke? Uh, but um, uh, well, I think if I've worked, um, uh, um what? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever worked for a director who used to be an actor. I'm sure someone will contradict me on that and say, mm -hmm. dig up something from my shady past. Uh, I don't think so. No one springs to mind. Um, no. No, no, not that, not that I can recall, no. But, oh, well, my, the part two of my question then is a little irrelevant in that case. <laughs> there was another part to it? <laughs> I just stopped listening once you stopped saying my name. <laughs> <laughs> How's You're my teasing. painting looking of me? Uh, Everyone's loving it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, how are we doing on time? I, mean, I think I don't mind running over a little bit. Two minutes. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, it's one of those. It's one of those things. Obviously, I do need to do more to it. But um, th there's always the funny thing of the decision to make when to stop. Well, when to John, stop. you never finish. You just run out of time. Yeah, and that maybe that's how it should be. So this is the last sitting, and this when it's done now, it's done. That's it. Wow. How about that for pressure? That's it. I tell you why. I tell you why it's a particular pressure is because when you do these things, it's it's it, there's a lot of like three steps forward, one step back, or even you know, three steps forward, two steps back. But therefore, 
you uh, you know you at some point you kind of like surge your head and it comes together and then it gets a bit worse and then better. So at, at an arbitrary cutoff point, it might be in either state, but yeah, you know, let's hey, let's do it anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, How about eight thirty this evening? Nineteen minutes from now. Yeah. That's it. Stop. Exactly. I think it's actually be okay. What do you think, Sheba? Well, no, I, no. I, I'd say. Mrs. I can see, more hair. Well, I can yeah. see things that he he should do afterwards, perhaps, but he doesn't need you in situ for. Yeah, I can't. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm I'm staying till the the bitter end. That's it. <laughs> another session to be done. I'm doing it. You can't get rid of me. That <laughs> Just little bits, not not. I mean, the the majority is. Let's see. I mean, I think. Not my nose, then. I haven't looked at your nose. Doesn't look wrong to me. Yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, the thing when you're doing a sort of a study like this is, if things don't look wrong, then you try not to mess around with them too much. Um, basically, essentially, uh, which would be, you know, I guess is a well, bad mantra for life, which I've never managed to follow um but uh it's that sort of thing at the same time you know that you could go on you know amplifying certain things sort of indefinitely um oh there's a cat hold on oh uh, yeah cat jumped up on me when i was on, the, on, on the paints actually earlier when oh, i was i go at this yeah don't worry think... no 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 mini no. <laughs> Oh dear. Did Rembrandt have to deal with this? Cats. Oh, yeah. Otters. There are lots of otters in his house, Rembrandt. <laughs> oh, much, much. I guess they were on canals, maybe. Exactly. It's plausible. Hmm. Hmm. Fact check. <laughs> Did Rem- was it Rembrandt's yeah. wife who... Rembrandt had stoats. Lots of stoats in his house. Yeah. Vermin. Yeah, vermin. <laughs> He's paid, he's paid stones. the exterminator in paintings. <laughs> Little known fact. Yeah. <laughs> Good is vermin, period. <laughs> Vermeer. <laughs> Ocelots everywhere. Ocelots. Yeah. Good move for Have Vermeer got his name? Oh, gosh. Um, she's desperate to get me. No, no, no. Oh, me. she's gonna, oh, she's gonna cause chaos. Hedgehogs for Picasso. <laughs> yeah. He treated them like dirt, like it is, like everyone in his life. They, and they loved it. He learned to drive just so he could run them over backwards. Any time in his life he got behind the wheel, otherwise he's terrified. He always took the train. <laughs> to get rid of this cat. Something that Sir Anthony Hopkins failed to really... <laughs> Flesh out in the movie was that side of it. his fascination with hedgehogs. <laughs> He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a painter, isn't he, Tony Hopkins? Is he? Is he another one? Um, I, I keep hearing about people who are. Yeah, Tony painters. Hopkins is a bit of a painter. I wonder if we could get him on. On, on, the, on the art school, on the isolation art school. You can give us some tips. That'd be great. He's a composer as well, likes to write music. Hmm. Allegedly. But that, yeah, so that's, I've seen him on Instagram walking around looking at his paintings with a cat, funnily enough. Ah. Very attached to his cat. Um, oh, that's interesting. I love, I love knowing who does it, and um, I want to, I now want to see the pictures. Actually, I want to know what's the style of painting is. I've seen. Um, well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm inclined to Google. Keith, Keith was talking about Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's um, oh, Jim paintings. Carrey, I don't think I've seen. I have. Um, uh, I did see um, uh, lovely Pierce Brosnan who years ago came to the studio um, and we're talking about painting because oh, yeah. he's he's quite. Quite keen. Oh, he's done some self portraits here. Who has? Oh, Hopkins. Hopkins. Has he? Oh, no, maybe it's not someone's painted him. Annie Hopkins brings art to his. Oh, dear. Oh, wow, they're a bit out there. There's lots of colour. Hmm. I'm inclined to show you, John. He's expressing himself in a way that he. Yeah, he is. He's, he's been bottling it up on, on stage range. night after night, and that's a. a lot of unleash a riot of colour. Uh, 
to Sir Anthony Hopkins. You can buy it, John. You want to buy some? Really? Yeah. Lots of colour. It, it looks from the man's <laughs> own hand. Um, yeah. That's cool. Well, I, I see flowers. Man. He's got some flowers here that he's been doing. Yeah, at the Universal Painting in Palm Desert. He's out there in L.A. in California painting stuff. Yeah. Wow, what a multi-talented na is. national treasure he is. He is. He's a lovely man. He's a lovely fella, by all accounts. I worked with him many years ago. John. Did many, you? Many, what, many. What, on uh, on the stage or on in the film? In a, in a movie. In a movie. And a film called Elephant. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just a young lad of yeah. 13. Uh, yeah. Oh, the bouncy as well. I worked with him on the bouncy as well. Wow. Tahiti, yeah. Wow. I was another. I was a young, still a young lad of only seventeen then. Great. <laughs> is, he, yeah, is, is he a nice man? I mean, I'm not going to say no. he's he's not here. But, no, no, awful man, yeah. awful man, yeah. Yeah, awful man. Wouldn't even tie his own shoelaces. Really? God, I always suspected that. No, no, he was an absolute lovely, delightful, wonderful man. Mm. I'm just name dropping. Hmm. What do we think, folks? So we can have. I'm going to be able to stick to Dexter's deadline on this. Daddy, when I press the button, I yeah. like, turn back on. The camera. Yeah. Um, the yellow light flashed on. Well, do you want to, um, on the thing over there, do you want to, that small red button that's on, do you want to just press that? Because I think we'll be able to capture it in other ways. The iPad and these two film yeah. right. I think you can always show, do a kind of like close up afterwards from one of those, I think. Um, sorry guys, if you're looking at the very details, we seem to have lost the stream. Yeah, the little red one, yeah, it should work. Oh uh, no, so there's a big white one then. <laughs> I'm still running this, this video DJing thing. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. White or red, white or one or the other. Like diffusing bombs, basically. Are you uh, having a sweet potato? You know, 50-50 chance. Are you having a sweet potato? Yeah, I'm having a sweet potato. Yeah, I'm having a your head looks a different shape today. How am I doing that? It is. My head's. I, it's I actually, it is a different shape. It's all like running. You've actually lost weight, but yeah. you've lost it no, from no, no. a part of the body that you actually might want to preserve. Maybe I'm just at a different angle slightly. I'm trying to put mm. my phone at the same angle every time. No, just... so that my my head, you know, adopting its original shape for you, John. Uh, it's it wasn't a big deal. I mean, I. I, 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 I putting some expressive marks down to mask the fact that I can't really be sure and haven't really got the time. Um, that's always the best way anyway. Um, let's do it the wrong colour. Um, so, it's good. I've got a little bit sort of risk averse now that I'm, um, I'm running out of time. I don't want to kind of like touch the bits that are kind of, that, that might go horribly wrong. I'm sure some other people recognise that sentiment. Um, <laughs> if it was just sitting in my studio on a quiet day, I'd probably go in and start twatting around with some bits which are working perfectly fine, thinking I'll make them better, and then spend three days trying to put them back to how they were before I interfere. But that won't happen today, probably. Could you wipe the paint off if it was really going horrible? You can, yeah. And depending where on the canvas it is, it, sometimes, it can be quite easy to do that and it can be quite problematic. But certainly it's it's totally, that's the advantage of oil paint. You know, you can just you can do it. You can also wait for it to dry and then paint over the top. So, you know, it's not mm -hmm. it's not a disaster if you have to make changes, but it's more a case that sometimes there are things that are much nicer to do when the paint's wet and you have to wait for it to dry uh, like I'm trying to blend colours in, which I'm doing so much of with this one, but um, uh, there's a bit of that here. It's much better when it's wet because all you have to kind of like um, make big chunks of the painting wet enough mm -hmm. again to sort of do that too. Um, I always thought uh, that it'd be quite useful. I mean, I I I, I can slow that painting down, so the drying time of the paint down a bit by adding a bit of clove oil to the mix, but you've got to be really careful with that. And what I'm finding now is that some of the stuff the first session is dried, but the later sessions are still wet. There must be a way, and I've talked to various sort of physicists about this, and I, um, but of, 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 of like, like you know how you can seal 
You know when you when you, I don't, maybe the opposite thing. You know when you, when you vacuum wine so it doesn't oxidize. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's not the temperature. It's not. I think it's the oxidation of the paint because actually what you want. I don't know if it's that one sinking into the canvas or a bit of both. Basically, if you could keep the paint wet till you want to work on it again, that'd be great. Because mm-hmm. I'm always like starting things and then like getting distracted by something else before I finish it. And so I can have like unlimited paintings that aren't. <laughs> she was rolling her eyes. But yeah, I think um, it, as a serious thing, it would be a really useful thing for, um, for, for this you sort of work. You never and, finish, you just run out of time. You have to have a deadline, though, Johnny. What you're describing yeah. is someone who doesn't have a deadline. I but sometimes you're forced done. to, or if you're, if you're or the person you're painting can't sit for you and you actually do need them to sit, and that's the thing. So I think, yeah, there, there is a sort of, there are practical reasons, but what I don't know is, it, it, do, you, do you suck the air out? so that it's vacuum so it doesn't react to the oxygen or the air um or does that make it happen faster because it evaporates in which case do you want to replace it with an inert gas like those coravin wine things where you put gas in to keep the wine fresh so you don't have to finish the bottle well, that's what you're doing, why you don't want to finish the bottle yeah um anyway sorry I'm just gonna... that's that's big questions big scientific questions you know, mm. John. i'm just trying to imagine how you vacuum seal something like a painting yeah yeah to, without, a, a, a big flat box yes i think i don't know if i what? said but um uh just between me and um, professor cox uh is i think gonna sit for me um uh in a, um once we get this one done in a Maybe on Saturday. Anyway, um, uh, just trying to work out the details because he's in France and the, um, uh, I'm not sure how good the connection is, but we'll figure it out. But he's the sort of person actually you might know. You might get a be really able to definitively say I'm talking complete nonsense and it's obviously not possible, which is what we're all suspecting. Well, I, I, he, he strikes me as the sort of person saying, well, anything's possible. <laughs> whether it's really worth doing or not is yeah. another matter. It might be <laughs> easier to send you to Mars. He's been around quite a long time and no one's really seen the need for it as yet, <laughs> other than you. Is it going to move the whole... Yeah, but if everyone felt like that, where would the innovation be? <laughs> the pointless innovation that drives the world forward. <laughs> Extracting oh, moonbeams and cucumbers or what was the thing Johnny in Gulliver's Young. Travels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh no, I'm messing up the mm. Now. Well, on that note, you've got about uh, six, seven minutes. Okay, six, seven minutes. Uh, just the the cheek that I don't like. Um, what I done? I think I cheek. Which cheek, left or right? That one, that side. Yeah. My right. That's my right cheek, as I'm. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, so it's faithfully. Yeah, it flips me round, but not you. Um, Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stressed I can barely hold the brush. Right up, right up. <laughs> down. Oh, damn, I can just see the last thing I can do. Don't touch it. Um, Someone's uh, asking, is this the last session? Uh, I think so. If I do a sneaky one, I'll show you guys, but not him. Um, no, you can't do that. No, you've, got, you've, got to, you've got to let me in on it. Yeah. I'll do it, but... I- I don't mind you. No, I, th- I, th- I think I, I like it actually. I think um, you know, it's it's um, I think it's a bit better. I quite like you know. I like, I, I look at it more in daylight and see um, if, it, if the eyes are quite right. Because often there's such subtle things. Sometimes you notice things in daylight which you don't. No, there is lots of screens around me. Well, the screens in a different place. But yeah. yeah. Um, We're amazing, Will. Anyway. <laughs> Kemp, he's asking to keep going. Is it Will Kemp? Yeah. <laughs> well, a we couple might... of Kemp's got Gary on here as well. Oh, good. I'll give them my love. We like, we like Gary. Love Gary. Love Will. Yeah. Will's just jealous. Will's jealous. He je- Will wants you to paint him. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could maybe do a sort of nude or something of Will. He's a sort of handsome, sort of form of dancer. Lied young man. Yeah. Not that you and I wouldn't also sort of qualify <laughs> and be a fabulous artistic value, but. My face is naked. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh no, I've got glasses on. Beard. Yeah. <laughs> but... Modest, preserving your modesty. Um, I think I've just done something with the glasses as well. Weird. Mm. Will we uh, remove? No, 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 it's fine. I, I, I can't let them on. Um, I, um, maybe it's alright. I can't really tell now. Mm-hmm. 
Excellent. That's the, that's, the, that's the sort of conclusion finale music I like. It's what's been missing, Dexter. It is, isn't it? I should have done this oh. sessions ago. <laughs> or, or you're holding music when you didn't turn up. I'm going to need another week for the hair. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm good. definitely going to clip all my hair off next time. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's upsetting the uh, the Wi-Fi connection over you're doing throwing the technology. Kind of nearly there. With it. I you can't really tell. Three minutes left. Okay. Well, look. Um, Has Dex has seen it? Have you seen it yet, Dex? No, you for, you forbid oh, it. So I well, maybe it's time for you to have a look. What do you think, guys? I didn't, um, I didn't have a look. Yeah, I think you should. I think maybe it is that time. Should I go online? Yeah, have a look. Let's see if we can find it. I think I've done something for the mouth just there, which isn't quite right. What do you think? Well, I just think there's a little bit more you do. Not yeah. much, but yeah. I definitely think there's a bit more. Yeah, I think so too. And I think um, I wouldn't mind talking to people through the sort of finishing touches you do. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's all. So I think we're going to have to do one more. Um, you're looking a little bit a little bit serious in it. And I think we've lost the sort of place up to. Yeah. Um, but I can tell it a little bit. Maybe that gives a help a bit. Um, it's definitely got a bit better, but I think you're looking a tiny bit serious and... It I needs, like I just, serious, John. I want a bit, a bit more, a little bit more animation and um and, and liveliness. I think it had more of that uh, early on. Yeah, I think yeah. I've slightly kind of. I like it, John. I really like it. Yeah. Well, I think we um let, let, let me do. I think really? I, I've kind of lost a bit of the sort of um. I feel like I've lost a little bit of the uh, enthusiasm, the kind of um uh, energy of it in the last sort of ten minutes or so. So um. Uh, I tell you what, I think I, I, I feel like we'll, we'll we'll do a bit more. It's definitely, you know, it's I think it's better than it was, um, you know, a week ago. Um, uh, but I think it can still be a tiny bit. We can do a bit more. Amazing. Yeah, you less than a minute. Okay. Uh, well, it, that's very sweet of you. Um, but I think I want to do a little bit more to it. So we're gonna have to persuade Dexter to come back. What do you think, guys? Let me know what you what you think. We'll do. A, well, I'll put I'll put a short version of this one online anyway. But um, this, this one. Oh, well, I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's saying how amazing it is, and it is the great. presence yeah. of you is there. It's very hard when you've just been looking at something for an hour um, to to, yeah, to, to you judge it. You need to step away and you come back. Literally step away. Yeah. So. Um, is it okay. Is it mine, Johnny? Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. It's ended. So wow, that's really fantastic. Okay, guys. Well, look, um, uh, to be continue, I'll well, tell you what the kind of verdict is tomorrow. I'm going to post all this stuff up online, um, and I'll tell you more about it all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, just 